Walker, it was the coolest Christmas present that I got. Um, from a gift standpoint, you know, my dad got me a uh, a, a craftsman toolbox when I was about 19 years old, and uh, he since passed. I still got it in the shop. I've uh, uh, moved it to to the new shop where I can take half the tools out of it, and so uh, that one always always stood out. And then I know that uh, I think when I was six, I got my first slot car track, and I had AFX cars. I used to take those apart, work on them, try to make them faster. And uh, that's actually where I probably started with the race and stuff. And, uh, and you know, I did slot cars for years and years, so those, those gifts stand out. Oh gosh, I probably first bicycle. You know, I think sneaking down and seeing it under the tree. You know, hard to, kind of hard to hide that, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was probably the most exciting Christmas I can remember. But you know, I've always been fortunate, and good parents, and you know, gotten everything I ever wanted. So. Of course, it was as a kid, it was all race stuff. You know, the slot car track, the Hot Wheels, the Hot Wheels track, uh, the racing helmet, uh, all those kind of gifts. They do stick out and still to this day. Uh, anything to do with racing that I got over the years. So um, we'll see uh, see what Santa brings this year. As far as gifts, um, yeah, I got a '63 Ford out of the Galaxy that. Uh, uh, Will and my wife got me a few years ago that I've got to get it going. We put a road course front end on it. I got a route race motor course that I've got to get it going. So, uh, uh, yeah, that's kind of a neat deal. And uh, Christmas is always a big time around the Kennels. I got Dad to get my uh, motorcycle for the very first time, about 10 years old, and I went straight into the side of Mama's car, I think. Or <laughs> somebody's right off the bat. But, yeah, that, that was about the biggest, funnest thing I ever got for a Christmas present. But. Any uh, gifts that stand out you've got over the years? Not really, no. A dive trip, maybe. <laughs> to, uh, I think it was a Roomba. You know, I feel like Christmas gifts, clothes, um, you know, it's pretty Close to that to you. Clothes, you know, I'm a pretty easy kid, you know. I'm fortunate enough to have what I have in life, so I don't, um, you know, Christmas, I just I try not to ask for anything. I'd have to say my best ever Christmas present was um, probably last year when my, my parents actually surprised me. Um, I never knew about it, but it was something they got month, about a month in advance, and it was, they got, Bill McAnally called them and asked for me to test for this year with um, Bill McAnally Racing, and I, they didn't tell me, and they told me that on Christmas Day, and you know, it, it was really, really freaking cool to do that, and that, you know, it was just something, the experience of a lifetime to do that, but I also have to say it was, wasn't kind of a Christmas present, but it kind of was. It was kind of before Christmas, but it was also um, getting my um, getting my late model first. The first car we ever got built specifically for me, the only one I've ever had that was built actually for me to drive that we didn't just buy used. And so I'd say those those are the two that really really stand out to me. I have four kids, so you know Christmas morning's fun. Um, you know, it's always good seeing the joy in their eyes. Man, you know, I, I do get spoiled from my family, from my, from my wife, uh, but really it's just, I just love, as much as I'd say getting gifts, it's not. I am the biggest cheese ball in the world when it comes to giving gifts. Like, I am over the top gift giver and I, I don't buy gifts through the year. I just don't really, I'm not the type to go shopping. I don't do stuff like that very often. And then at Christmas time, I go hey, You're at the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> right. I go crazy. Typical man, right? And, right. I, and I just, I love it. And I, I do a lot of it online, but I mean, I buy all the clothes for everyone. I pick out all the stuff. Like my wife, that I pick out my I, like. I buy my wife everything. Like I don't need. Yeah, I'm. This is an area. This is an area. Of You're a brave for me. man buying I, I clothes am, for a woman. It, I am. This is an area of strength for me. So yes, I love it. Uh, she's probably my favorite person to shop for. My boys are just 13 year old boys, and that you know, you throw a steak in front of them, they're happy. But besides that, pretty easy. But yeah, I love Christmas, and I'm a. I, I mean, I go crazy at gift giving. Two gifts that I remember as a kid. The first one was my Schwinn bicycle um, with the horn and the thing or whatever, one of those. And then my first model motoring set. Yeah, HO set. I remember that very distinctly. Um, other than that, um, and then once I got married, my wife gave me an excellent Christmas gift uh, a couple years ago. I used to have a 68 Chevelle SS 396 in high school. 
and probably about eight, maybe ten years ago, she surprised me, gave me, found me one, totally restored, and gave it to me as a Christmas gift. So that was pretty exciting. You got me stumped. I, I, I you know, just grateful for, uh, grateful for for anything and everything all the way along the way, and you know, we always. Biggest thing, you always just uh, uh, hope for a safe and, and, and successful racing season. And, and uh, you know, knock on wood. Fortunately, we've we've uh, we've had a good one this year, and, and hope for many more going forward. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas. Same to everyone out there. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Tradition-wise, there's a traditional dinner that my aunt cooks, and we go down to Dallas where my family's from, and uh, that's just a, a standard staple every year. is is the uh, the turkey and the, the green bean casserole and the, the different salads and, and different things that, that have been done in my family since I was a little kid, and so always looking forward to that. That's like really good comfort food. It's probably just most important that we spend time with my family and. My parents. I've lost my father recently, but you know my mother and, and son and wife. So we always enjoy Christmas. Well, tradition-wise, I mean it's just a matter of family. Family is the whole key. You can have a different tree, have different decorations, uh, different presents, but it's all about family. Well, uh, tradition. We do it with a family. Um, my mom always put breakfast on Christmas morning, and uh, my wife is kind of taking that over right now. Then. Uh, her dad's uh, birthday is Christmas Eve. My wife's on, on the 30th of the, of the month, so we've had a lot of a lot of stuff going on on Christmas. And uh, now with the grandkids, um, it's it's new stuff on Christmas, so that's kind of exciting for us. Yeah, we still all try to get together, same old traditional stuff, just family and hanging out. That's about it these days. The most important thing is I have eight kids. So it is a Christmas meal with all my kids and grandkids. That's it. That's my present. Happy, done, over. I'm good for the year. As far as traditions, you know, we don't really have a tradition. You know, I guess to try to go to the mountains when we lived in Miami. Now I live really close to the mountains in Charlotte. So uh, maybe try to go skiing. Um, I guess you could say that's a new tradition, um, you know, around the Christmas time. But uh, not really any ritual stuff that, that stands out. So I spend time with my family. We haven't really, you know, we just kind of have typically, last few years we just kind of have, uh, we have ham, mac and cheese, and corn. What we typically have as a Christmas dinner, that's kind of what our tradition is mainly been. As far as traditions and stuff, we just get together with family and, you know, do, do whatever we can, regardless of what Biden says. <laughs> well, we always, uh... We do it a little different, but you know, we come from a big Italian family, so on Christmas Eve we went by my father's side, and then Christmas Day we went by my mother's side, and for some reason, just my, my father's side, we always had, my grandmother just really went over top at Christmas, and that was always kind of like our night, it was Christmas Eve. So they used to have Santa Claus used to come and visit, and it was like, yeah, it was really cool. It was over the top, and it was great. Big, yeah, big. And <laughs> so when we kind of had our family, we, we adopted the Christmas Eve thing. So I'd say our tradition is actually, we celebrate Christmas Eve night together. Uh, all the Venturinis do. Uh, my boys and my, my wife and my parents and my sister and her husband and their son. And we, we just have a Venturini family Christmas on Christmas Eve. And in Christmas Day, uh, it, it kind of, I don't really have traditions there. So it could be, it could be watching movies and drinking some really awesome wine, or it could be going over to my wife's parent, uh, mother's house, you know, at Barry's because they're, they're not as traditional as we are, but, but we are steadfast and Christmas Eve is our thing. Eve is always at our house uh, or grandma's house as the kids call it now. Um, always has been Christmas Eve has always been my family's thing. And then, um, when we were dating my wife and it was her family on Christmas day, um, all my in-laws, everyone knows Christmas Eve is at our house, and then they do their stuff with their family on Christmas Day. Um, enjoy the grandkids. Oh, we've already 
We already started Christmas shopping. So okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, already got, I already got the Christmas list for them. So. Oh, wow. Well, you know, always just getting together with the family, having big dinners and things like that, playing some cards or dominoes. That's that's our tradition to get together, drink a few cold beers, you know, in, in the legal way. So uh, that's a good tradition for us. The, the one thing, and it, and it, of course, relates back to our business uh, and, and racing is... Uh, I remember when I was a kid, my grandparents, uh, John and Mildred Markham, uh, would actually have racers over. So Iggy and Eleanor Katona and Clyde and Virginia Parker. And I, I remember those folks uh, you know, being over at, the, at, at grandmother and grandfather's house, along of course with my mom and dad and my brothers. Uh, but uh, the, those, the, you know, it's it's racing has always sort of been around and sort of been been in the. Uh, in our personal lives as well as our professional lives, so uh, I, I, I do recall that. Uh, yeah. Here with ARCA owner and driver and, in my estimation, American hero, Wayne Peterson. You've seen a few Christmases, <laughs> but uh, do you have any Christmas traditions that stand out in the course of your lifetime? A, and B, any Christmas gifts that you receive that, that really you remember? Well, I'm listening to news saying that there's nothing out there. We're not going to have a good Christmas. We're going to have a bleak Christmas. I can remember my mother and my grandparents making popcorn dressing to go on uh, with on a string to, to decorate the trees, making tin foil stuff. Just stuff that they could pick up. People whittling out a little something of, of the kids are the kids are going to get Christmas. But they've got so much, they're spoiled. I'd like to see the kids accept what they got. There's things out there they could they could play with. I appreciate it, sir. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you.